Welcome back, guys, uh, to another episode of uh, Dyson Sphere Program. I keep forgetting the name, I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, I have been in between episodes just letting this run um, and getting our yellow cubes up, our structure, structure matrices? Yes. Uh, so, they should be nice and clearing. So, what I wanted to do was actually do what I wanted to do was actually do um, some of more of these. So, we definitely want to get planetary logistics done because we want to be working towards interstellar uh, the only problem with these is they are going to need this high strength titanium alloy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this up first uh, then we are going to need this one and then this one uh, eventually we will get to over here because the gas giant one will help us out a lot but for that we're going to need to get into stellar we're going to need into storage which could be useful um i would go down the main chain but yeah that these ones are easy to make uh, and it gives us these I, I'm, I found this fantastic in my first my first little playthrough um, it made life a little bit easier with uh, power generation uh, and also this was good as well. I made like getting rid of so many power poles, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, so, thinking about things, I have 141. We are actually going to have to start moving these across, aren't we? So let us. That's so good, I can fly. Collides with another object. I know that, but we want to be going this way. Building it a range, okay. We want to go across to about. Well, we're gonna go about there, don't we? Let's do that. There we go. Let's try and remember how to even like land then. All right, so we're gonna need. A double set of these, that's like an instant thing, isn't it? Like, they forever need those. And then, definitely going to need some more of those. I, I need to get them on production. Also need to make these quicker. That was one thing I needed to look at, was actually making these drones quicker, getting more power. That would be useful. So let's have a look at our upgrades. So yeah, Mecha Core, we can start upgrading. These we should already be doing. Capacity would be great. Um, I did do that vertical construction. We've also got Vane. Uh, so we're looking at that one as well because that just makes life so much easier for us. How long is this taking? Oh, I forget that we need to make motors for these. And I should really have a motor fact factory because we're going to need the... Uh, what are they, the green motors, what are they called? Electromagnetic. So we've got electric motors and then electromagnetic motors. We're going to need them. But uh, yeah, that'll be a uh, an easy solution to do. There we go. That should be putting yellows out and about. So we can still. Run these down. And of course, can't land in the actual water, can I? Because, you know, it doesn't like that. Alright, so let's delete that. Put it there instead. You have done building the first power transmission. No, facility. I haven't. Why do you Tesla keep every tower. episode? It can carry Every out short episode. distance wireless power transmission. What is the point of this clicky button if I can't click you away? Thank you. <laughs> like, it's not the first time I've built this. This is nothing new to you guys. Right, there we go. So we actually should really finish this up. Yeah, power's getting overloaded, so we're actually going to have to look at our system again. Because uh, now I'm researching, it's actually going to use a lot more power. Let's come out of build mode. But these should be... Yeah, these are keeping kind of 
alright in their system. So as soon as these are across here, they'll start working on these, which is perfect. Which is what I like. And we've got that running. So we are going to need titanium, though. This is the problem. So we have to look at what's going to be happening next. So uh, we're going to ignore them at the moment. So we're going to want those, which of course is going to need steel, which we have, titanium, which we're going to be importing. Uh, and oh, I don't actually think I have those. No, I don't. OK, so we are actually going to have to get the processors in queued, and we're also going to need to get the particle containers in queued. OK, right. So while that's working, how do we make these? Okay, so I'm thinking of setting up a factory for this, this, and this to get these running. I think that could be a good use of our time. So let's have a look. So motors need iron, cogs, and it's going to need copper and more iron. Okay, so we're going to need a big iron store because that's two bits of iron. You are a one bit of iron as well. Okay, so you're going to need four just producing that, plus one copper chain, and then through that you're going to just need that again, so more copper, more iron, and then through that you're going to need more iron and coal. Okay, so somewhere that's got iron, coal, please tell me there's copper nearby. If there was, that would have been like the perfect setup. There's copper there. Kind of wish it was a bit closer, actually. We can just have a look around, can't we? So we've got iron, stone. Actually, if I just put veins on, I'd be able to see, wouldn't I? There's bits of the planet that I've never even been to before, <laughs> untouched and scathed by my robotic menace, who likes to just destroy things. doesn't look like it was a better area than what I already had. Okay, so that's plenty of logistics done, but of course we can't even build that as we found, because we don't actually have the stuff that we need. Okay, so we're back here. Oh, actually, actually, coal, iron, and copper all in the same space. Like, this is perfect. Okay, right, so I'm going to want, uh, for one of these I'm going to need, let's put two on the copper line. Actually, we're going to need more than that, aren't we, because we're making quite a few of these. Because it's going to be needed there, so that's one, that's three. Okay, so we're going to need, I'm going to say four just for copper. So I normally like to have quite a few, but I'm assuming I'm missing iron again, as always. Actually, I'm low on copper. So let's go pick up some iron, let's go pick up some copper. Let's go pick up some of those. That's copper and iron, so that can be handmade. Okay, so where is this? This is right next to my satellites, which is next to red production. Okay. Oh, that's easy, that's just over here. It's where concrete and stuff is being produced. Okay, so I have iron. Let's grab three sets of that. Let's just grab lots of cogs. I could just come over here and just steal these. Makes life easier. I would siphon these off. I did that in, in my other playthrough, but I prefer not to, if I can. I prefer to make its own little factory. Uh, I know it's going to drain our power supply, but... Okay, so I'm going to need four of these just for iron, four of these just for copper, and let's take two of them for... Um, what am I thinking? 
two of them for coal. So let's have a look. So that's made in an assembler. So we're going to need an assembler. So that's smelting. That's assembly. 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 Perfect. And you're also an assembler. So let's take. Let's just make 10 of those. We'll have a look. I'm going to want six of those. Let's get like 10 splitters in here. Let's get quite a lot of those going. We're going to need a mass amount of these. We can actually build a logistics system, but we have not actually unlocked half of this stuff. So that's going to take us a while. Uh, and then we're going to need storage boxes. Do I want large? I think large would be that we can only make one of those. What are we missing? So we need steel. We've got a fair bit of. It's actually the concrete I need, which is, luckily, right here. So let's say... Let's go ten of those as well, just to even things out. I think that should... Oh, I'm going to need power, aren't I? get 10 of those. I wish there was like a... is there? I, just, I can't remember there being like a plan thing we could just pause plan. See if you wanted. Um, so if we have the... I'm try to think. We're going to have iron production over here, the coal production there, copper production over here. Let's think about this logically. So... You'll be made in iron. Copper's going to bring that in to make you. That's copper finished. So we're going to need a line of that, a line of that, and then a line of that and that. Then put into there. And then more put in that way. Okay, so this is going to be... I wouldn't say challenging, but a different way of how I would probably set things up. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's get them running. We don't need power to them yet because we're just going to be... running things down. So we do that. I want to kind of do that because I want to build them here. I know it's a bit janky and we could make it a little bit easier, but... I was going to have four on there. So we're going to have you making... So we're going to need quite a lot of them, so that's two for that. You make steel, well, it's to make iron pretty easy. Is it an assembler for. That's an assembler, isn't it? But it needs it from iron, doesn't it? Okay, so two of them are then going to make that. I actually think I need a, a fifth one in here. Just to make sure the lines actually... Oh, that's... Oh, is that going to be the way of the world? I think this might actually resolve a few problems, actually. Um, if I... Bring that straight in there... Because that one will cover the first three, that will cover the first, the second set. So you're going there, and you're going there. Okay, so standard speed on all of these. Then we're talking about plates just going straight into an assembler. Uh, 
and you are going to be making that. Okay, so these will all be running out too. So they're going to be doing their own little thing, they're going to be doing their own little thing. Okay, so let's... I'm sure there's going to be a method to my madness at some point. Hazard a guess what it's going to be. Okay, so copper is going to be over here. I think I might actually just put one on this. Okay, we've got our alloy, that's perfect. So, from this one, just so I can make the factory a bit easier to build. So that's over that way, so let's... Build two of that, so you're going to be making just plates. exporting them. I think that's literally your only role, isn't it? I love that I'm just making a, like, a line just for this stuff. Right, they're gonna meet up over here, aren't they? Let's think about it. If we do that, and then have you come into there. Actually no, if we change that up. Where have you come into there? Have the two assemblers. So that is going to be making that. Actually, no, I don't want it that way, do I? What, are we, what am I even talking about? I want that like that. There we go. And it's going to need more iron than copper, isn't it? I think it was. It's going to need two of them. Okay, so you get... Actually, no. I hate to it does that. It doesn't pick up what you want. So it does something else. So that's going to go there. Okay, so that will then produce those. Perfect. Now what am I making? <laughs> right, so they're being created. We're making these. So I'm going to need plates we need plates gears and those okay so we're gonna make uh, should we make a storage for that it's not gonna be even and it's gonna kind of annoy me a little bit Okay, and then let's have that. Okay, so that's going to be producing those. Gears are coming that way, steel is coming that way. I might actually need to put a third lane on this just to add extra, extra things going on, because this is going to be a bit tight. So let's make that. So we're making these, which is a, another assembler. So let's get two assemblers. I don't know if that's going to be too much, but let's try. I'm trying to make this quite tidy, but as you can probably see, it's not going fantastically. 
Okay, so that's going to go... That way. That's going to go like that. So we're going to need those, those triples. We can actually make them, but we need to have the actual systems we're going to be making to make them. So you're going to go there. You're going to go there. This is going to need so much power, isn't it, just for this facility. Alright, so you are going to making those, I do believe. Okay, good. So we're now making those. They are going to go into a storage unit. Oh god, this is, this is getting largely complicated now, isn't it? Just trying to make a little structure. I think this will just be today's episode, just making this design. Wow. Uh, let's do that. And the power consumption this building is going to take. It's going to be ginormous. Right, so that's going to be those engines, right? What do we need next? We need that and those again. Okay, so I could take a... Uh... It's a shame this is here. I should have really left a gap. I could have just ran it through. Oh well. Okay, so we're going to need assemblers. Let's take two again. Is that actually that line's coming off there, isn't it? Would I actually be able to sneak if that changed its direction? I would be able to sneak that up here. Okay, let's do that. And place the assemblers like that. I am out of conveyors. Of course I am. And I don't have many left either. I thought I was going to have plenty for this. Right, and you're going to be making these. The electric magnetic ones. So if you take into that, you take into that, and then we fast speed into there. You need to be reconnected. Perfect job. That should make those, which we can then. Storage off. <laughs> I'm kind of getting a very repetitive uh, build style from myself. I'm seeing that now. So this whole place is not powered. Right, should we start powering this or getting the preludes to power in? That would power that. That would power all that. That should power all of that. That to that. I think that to that. That would power all of that. Good. And that should connect to everything. Yes. Perfect, so we're now producing resources. We'll see how this all runs. I think things aren't going to run as well as I 
hoped. And by the looks of it, it's already happening down this end. I actually might need to run that back one. Let's do that. Is that because we're running out of power? Yes, we are definitely draining the system. Is this filled up on gears? It has. It's waiting for... Oh, God. I knew there would be something I would forget. And this is why we have these runs. Right, so we've got copper producing. Which is then going to go into those, which should then go into those, which should go into those. Which should then go into those. Okay, right. What are we wanting next? We were wanting super magnetic ring, which is going to need coal and that and those. Okay, rings are there. So I don't know whether to steal. Oh, there we go. We got into. I think that was interstellar. Nice. So we're now actually producing our first electric motors. That's. Uh, that's mainly because I'm not actually ejecting them. Uh, that's going to be a problem. Nope, not that. I want that. Am I producing enough to keep them up? Right, so that is... There we go, perfect. We are finally getting our first sets of electro uh, electromagnetic turbines in that's a uh, quite a big build just to make for that right so as this is constantly on the back foot i don't know whether to put that actually even further back to be honest like that Just to keep the line heavily saturated. Because if it's saturated, that means I can then run, say, two lines here. This is probably not going to work to my advantage. That's going to be stealing from this. Actually, that seems to be running okay, actually. Okay, fair enough. So that will be running into those. So I think we could actually have all this set up. So this would need assemblers again. Let's run that production line like this. Perfect. I think... That's going to run them like that. I think that's what they needed. Okay, again, there's no power units over here, and I can only make three. <laughs> oh, I also have no... Ah, um... oh, I need iron. Please tell me one of these is full. Always. Good. Okay, so that'll be running from there. That's then going to run... I need... This and then I need coal, don't I? So let us run this Oh, I don't like the way the world works there. That's going to mess up things a little bit. 
Oh, I'm actually depleting my own power. That's not a good thing. I'll cover all of that. Okay, and then we just need to build coal up and then we will have this up and running. So let's have a look quickly. I'm just going to get rid of a few things that we don't overly need straight into there to just to produce some sort of fuel. And we will just need one of these, I believe. Yeah, and I will need to sort out um, our fuel situation. So just one of these will probably be enough to produce what I need. And we are producing one of you. Yeah, and I think in between episodes I will uh, be creating uh, a new power generation system because we are desperately going to need it. So this is eating. Yeah, this this new thing that I've just put in is going to eat a lot of power. Okay, and that should be producing those. And then what I want to do, if we can quickly get this done. This is janky as anything, isn't it? Uh, I don't actually like the way this looks. This will be so much easier when we get um, interstellar and the interplanetary setup, because then everything will just work as it's meant to. Right, so this, I'm definitely going to need another one of these because this runs too slowly to keep both of these occupied. So that's one thing we're going to have to look at. But we are making them, so that that's... Hey, that's a success for me. <laughs> this this whole janky system is actually going to, to run and work and power everything up, which is fantastic. That is, why are you being, ah, it's because you're running slow because of these. So I might actually have to upgrade our system. So this is running slow because of the gears. So we might need a second gear set, which to be honest could be done. That's very easy. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today, guys. If you did like it, then please do hit the uh, like button. If you didn't, then hit that dislike button. If you wanna see more, then please do subscribe. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye.